after a challenging escape, now more uncertainty. It is a case of the next few weeks will pretty much be critical. The two-year-old orca calf named Quisa Hayes, or Brave Little Hunter, made it out of a tidal lagoon on northern Vancouver Island. She'd been orphaned after her pregnant mother beached herself while hunting and died. Now the calf is back in open sea, searching for her pod. Either she won't be seen again, she'll be seen with a different pod, or she'll be seen with her family. Researchers are using an AI program called FinWave to scan for the dorsal fins of her family. But there's only so much they can do to reunite them. Even if she doesn't necessarily come across her immediate family, there are potential chances that other transient killer whales sort of may let her tag along at a distance. It's really unknown at this point. The calf still needs hunting lessons, but at least right now, there's lots of food. You know, that time of year, I think spring is here and um, there's a lot of uh, life out in the ocean. The calf was too stressed to be tagged in the lagoon, so researchers are relying on sightings now to keep track. We know that she's likely still in Esperanza Inlet, but she's definitely um, moving away from boats and people, which is exactly what we want. And um, so we're really optimistic about her future. So hope remains strong that this little hunter will make it. Yvette Brand, CBC News, Vancouver.